teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson about posting the opening entry to the ledger. In our previous lesson, we have seen about standard forms of an account. Let me remind you some of the main points of our previous lesson. An account is defined as a record of the increases, decreases, and balances in an individual item of asset, liability, capital, income or revenue, or expense. A group of all accounts is called a ledger. A ledger is a compilation of accounts. Let's begin today's lesson with the steps in posting the opening entry. First, you should have grasped the following accounting steps. Step 1. Each transaction is analyzed to determine the accounts involved. Step 2. A journal entry is entered into the general journal for each transaction. Step 3. Periodically, the journal entries are posted to the appropriate ledger account. The journal journal is a sort of business diary containing all the transactions of the business. To provide a clear picture of how each account is affected by each transaction, the journal entry is posted to the general ledger accounts. Each of the amounts in the opening entry is transferred to the proper account in the ledger. Transferring the entries in a journal to the accounts in a ledger is called posting. The purpose of posting is to show the impact of business transaction on the individual accounts. Students, each entry recorded in a journal is transferred to specific accounts titled in the account titled column of the journal. An account needs to be opened for each account shown in the chart of accounts. Writing the account title or name of an account and the account number on the first line of a ledger account form is called opening an account. In order to open an account, you have to apply the following two steps. 1. The name of the account is written at the top left on the space next to the phrase account title. 2. The account number is written at the top right on the space next to the phrase account number. This is a record maintained in a form of card for cash into which chains, that is increase and decrease in cash are recorded. All data about chains in cash are sorted from journal and brought into cash account. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. Which one of the following is correct about posting? A. It normally occurs before journalizing. B. It transfers ledger transaction data to the journal. C. It is an optional step in the recording process. D. Posting. It transfers journal entries to ledger accounts.
students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. The answer is D. Posting. It transfers journal entries to ledger accounts. Students, do you know the importance of posting? The importance of posting. Posting is an activity that summarizes the records in the journal so as to make them convenient for analysis and reporting. It brings all data of one kind together. Posting organizes transaction details into proper accounts. Posting summarizes all business transactions so managers can't see the cumulative effects on the accounts. Students, posting is not done arbitrarily. There are steps you are required to follow while posting entries from journal to accounts in the ledger. When posting a debit entry, you just follow the following five steps. Step 1. Write the same amount of the transaction in the journal to the particular ledger account first. Example, write the amount of the cash debit in the debit column of the cash account. Step 2. Write the year, month, and the date in the date column next. Step 3. Write the word balance in the item column of the account. Step 4. Write the letter J1 in the ledger reference column. Example, write J1 in the post. Reference column of the cash account. J1 is written in the post. Step 5. Go back to journal and make post reference in the journal. Example. Return to the journal and write in the post reference column of the journal the account number of the account 11 to which the item was posted. Steps 4 and 5 are called cross-referencing. Cross-referencing involves writing the journal page number in post-reference column of the account and writing the account number of the account to which the posting was made in the post-reference column of the journal. Students. To post the remaining debit items of the opening entry, you should have to follow the same steps used in posting the first debit item of the opening entry. Each account is a separate page of the ledger. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have three minutes. What are the steps of posting a business transaction from the journal to the journal ledger?
students. Did you answer the question? Good. Let's now do the activity together. The steps of posting a business transaction from the journal to the journal ledger. Step 1. Write the same amount of the transaction in the journal to the particular ledger account first. Step 2. Write the year, month, and the date in the date column next. Step 3. Write the word balance in the item column of the account. Step 4. Write the letter J1 in the ledger reference column. Step 5. Go back to journal and make post reference in the journal. Students. The credit items in the general journal are posted in the same manner as the debit items except the credit items are posted to the credit side of their respective accounts in the ledger. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Post the account of Kabeda Berus Capital as per the information given in the following general journal. Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. Step 1. Write the same amount of the transaction in the journal to the particular ledger account first. Step 2. 
write the year, month, and the date in the date column next. Step 3. Write the word balance in the item column of the account. Step 4. Write the letter J1 in the ledger reference column. Step 5. Go back to journal and make post reference in the journal. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned some important steps in posting the opening entry. Basically, we have discussed the steps you are required to follow while posting entries from journal to accounts in the ledger. In addition, the following have been discussed. Posting means copying amounts from the journal to the ledger. Each of the amounts in the opening entry is transferred to the proper account in the ledger. An account needs to be opened for each account shown in the chart of accounts. Students, in our next lesson, we will discuss business transaction and their recording. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher. Goodbye students.